In this video, I will show you how you can connect an IP camera like this to a computer and view the IP camera on the computer just by a web interface. No software required, just by the web interface. I will first of all like to connect the camera to the computer. So I will use a network cable and establish a physical connection. Um, between the camera and the computer. So I'll plug the network cable directly into the computer. So, um, but you know, the camera requires power. So here is a 12 volts power adapter that is plugged to a power point, which I will use to power up the camera as well. So it means the camera has power and the video that would have been coming from the camera has been connected into my laptop so that we can view the camera on on the laptop now before we go to the laptop i want to point to the fact that this is the ip address of the camera 192.168.1.86 we'll use that on the computer so take note of this ip address all right so let's go to the computer now on the computer I would first of all have to check the ip address on which the computer is so that we'll be sure that the computer is on the same local air network as the the camera i will go to the control panel and under network and internet i want to view the the network status or the network status and task so when I open it up, I will assess the adapter settings by clicking on change adapter settings, the change adapter settings here. So I'll tap on it and I'm looking for the Ethernet under the Ethernet connection. We open up the properties by right clicking after right clicking we will come to properties. And so it opens up my Ethernet properties or the Ethernet connection properties for me. I will come to Internet Protocol version 4, double click on it. And the IP address of the computer is 192.168.1.204, which is fine because the camera has 192.168.1.86. And as I've always, always been mentioning, the first three digits of the IP address of the camera and the computer are on the same local area network. So this IP address is fine. So we can just exit by uh, canceling or clicking on OK. So now um, we are sure that we will be able to find the camera on the computer. So we can open up a web browser. I'm opening up my Chrome, my Chrome browser by a double click. So it will load for me. And basically that is where I want to assess the compute the camera from so in the address bar of the chrome browser this is where we'll input the ip address of the the camera so i will input the ip address of the camera which is 192.168.1.86.86 so once i enter that should take me to the interface of the ip camera so it's loading up for us we'll see all right so this is the login interface of the camera the camera's um username is admin and it still has the default password the default password for zk Teco camera for this camera is one two three four five six and then click on login that should load a live video for me all right so it is moving now you can see this is a live video. I'm waving at the camera now. And you can see that the camera is live. It's a live video it's by the web interface. As you can see in the address bar, we have just typed the, the IP address of the, the camera at the address bar there. And this is what is giving us the video of the camera. So this is how you can view a camera by its web interface. But please note that this particular camera has um does not require you to put in plugins there are some cameras that may require that you input some plugins or download some softwares to get them active 
so for those cameras you not see the live pictures direct but you may have to download some plugins to get them active like this all right so thank you so much for watching this video i hope it gives you lots of information and if you find value in this video please subscribe to the channel and also give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye bye